Good morning, Uberville Lift Lane drivers. How's everybody doing at 3.43 in the morning? Hey, just want to let you know that I don't always go to Starbucks. Sometimes you have to go to 7-Eleven because Starbucks isn't open this early. And uh, I didn't want to wake anybody up in the house, so I didn't use the uh, Keurig. Not quite the same, but it tastes good. All right, I have a uh, airport run. I got to go pick up my uh, passenger and take to the airport. I had a double run this morning. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, get some tip action. I'm almost positive we will, just a matter of how much. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back with the results of airport trip one, which is out to uh, Dulles from Gainesville. It should be about a uh, $40 ride. All right, later, people. All right, well, that was uh, Sandra, trip number one. And uh, nice tip, <laughs> $11, all in uh, singles. But hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. That was uh, very nice. Thank you very much, Sandra. And uh, have a safe trip. She is off to warm and sunny Arizona. Now we're off to pick up uh, trip number two. This time we're going to Reagan. Traffic's going to be a whole lot worse. Even in the carpool lane, it gets backed up. Uh, so I'm expecting that trip to take about an hour. This one, there was nobody on I-66. So uh, people in the Washington, D.C. area know what a treat that is. Not that many traffic. So it only took me about uh, 25 minutes to get to the airport. And, uh, that went well. All right, so one trip in the books. Let's go pick up another one. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. All right, no one's gonna believe this, but I made it from Gainesville to Reagan at six o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday in about 47, 48 minutes. Traffic was next to nothing. I don't, I don't understand what was going on. I've never seen it traffic that light on a Wednesday that early in the morning. Little, little. Uh, back up by the uh, metro but after that it was smooth sailing and um, so thank you Kathy uh, $10 tip so my two airport runs today uh, total $21 in tips so that's good I'm liking it uh, now all I want to do is go back home and go to bed for a couple hours before my day job uh, so I may uh, I may do that uh, we will do some Ubering tonight. I'm not going to Uber from the airport because I don't want to get a ride and go into D.C. I, I was lucky to get here in a short amount of time. Um, I got a few more airport runs this week plus two nights at casino, so I don't need to Uber that much this week. I will uh, get my week quota of uh, bringing in some money uh, just uh, by doing all that. Ah, excuse me. So, we're going to get down. Man, I, just, I, I still am amazed at how light the traffic was today. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, well. Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I might go do that. We'll see. We shall see. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to sign off for now. Might pop back on right before I go to work. I might uh, I'll usually turn the app on on my way in, trying to catch a ride. If not, I will definitely be uh, Ubering tonight after work, take advantage of a little bit of the promotional period, and uh, see if we can get a couple more dollars there. And that's it for now. Check back shortly. Actually, you will be, because this is a continuous video. <laughs> we'll be back. Bye-bye. Good evening, everybody. Well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good night. Why, you might ask? Because if nothing else, it's my Friday night. I'm off for the next four days, though I do have a lot of uh, planned rides. Plus, I have two casino parties. And what else do I have? I think that's it. Yeah. Um, Got to get a couple of more contestants for uh, PAX Ride Share Christmas Specials. I've got uh, one completed, which will be airing December 11th. You'll want to stay tuned and watch that. Uh, Sam was our contestant. She was 
fabulously fun. We'll have to see how she did. What she won, what she donated, or if she got out of the car crying. Uh, I didn't have any Kleenexes. But, hey, it was a good episode. You'll have to watch. Um, and what else? That's it. I got to lock up the gate. Um, got out of the golf course a little bit late. It was a beautiful, absolutely beautiful day today. It got to about 65. So we had a lot of golfers out. A lot of people think they can play at night. No one ever shows up with glow-in-the-dark golf balls. But I'm going to have uh, about an hour and 20 minutes during the promo. So we'll see if we can get any rides. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back. You know, one of my uh, viewers out there had a good question. And I didn't put this on Q&A because I don't know when my next one's going to be. I don't know if I'll do one before Christmas. But uh, his question was how many uh, passengers were men versus women. Or women versus men. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And um, my answer to him was I have actually had more women passengers than men passengers as far as singles go and, uh, and I asked a couple of women that I work with today why they thought that was and one of the answers was that she didn't like to drive uh, she doesn't mind uh, being driven around uh, she usually doesn't go by herself but um, she doesn't mind uh, she likes not having to drive so I don't know if that's the answer from a lot of women but I am going to do my best to try to get a couple of them on a video to answer just that question. In a way that doesn't sound uh, creepy coming from an Uber driver um, driving in the evening. I don't think I'm going to start tonight, especially since uh, they had that idiot out in, I guess it was Woodbridge, who uh, raped a female passenger. I, I, it's, uh, the guy should be shot. Any man should be shot, not just an Uber driver. It's just insane. Just insane. It, uh, yeah. Anyhow, um, so leave your comments down below. I'm curious as to what you get more passengers of, uh, men or women. And don't forget, leave a thumbs up, please. If you, I appreciate you taking the time to check out the video, but it would also be nice to uh, see a thumbs up. You know, as many thumbs up as I see views, that would be uh, that would be good. Um, that's all for now. Let's go find a passenger and get some of that promo money. We'll be back. Alrighty, that was Nicole. I think she was a uh, grade school teacher. I picked her up at an elementary school. And uh, looked like that's probably what she was doing. Anyhow, uh, one ride in the books, one promo. I still have 45 minutes, so let's see if we can get another one. I brought her back close to the mall, so there's a real good chance we can get another ride. All right, stay tuned. I don't know if I got a tip yet, but we'll find out later also. All right, that was Kim on an Uber pool ride. <laughs> she wasn't going, <coughs> excuse me. She wasn't going very far. Actually, it was a minimum fare, but she gave me a $5 tip. Uh, cash tips have been great today. And I know my little statement earlier that I said about um, picking up uh, more women than men is completely true. I've had four rides today. All four of them have been women. And uh, I had an $11 tip, a $10 tip, and now a $5 tip. So three of the four women uh, have tipped me all cash. So let me see. Let me see if... Nope, Kim didn't leave me an electronic tip. So three out of four women today tipped me $26 on three rides. Of course, the two airport runs were good long runs. Now, this last one wasn't very long at all. But uh, thank you, Kim. That was very nice. Uh, actually, I was just dropping her off at a meet location. Her friend was waiting for her uh, to pick her up. So I just brought her like, maybe two miles. I don't know. Actually, it was longer to get to her. It took me about... <laughs> About eight minutes to get to her and about four minutes to drop her off. So, worked out well. I got a $5 tip, $4 fare, and a $3 promotional. So, what do we got? Seven, $12 on a, on a ride that was, uh, let's get an exact number, shall we? Because I'm waiting for a ping anyway. So, that ride was exactly 
Six minutes, 11 seconds, 1.69 miles, $12. <laughs> wow. You just never know. You just never know. All right. We've got uh, 15 minutes to try to get one more ride to get it one more promotional. Uh, one more pro promotional trip. So I've gotten two, two so far tonight. So uh, I'd love to get one more. I'm still close to the mall. Anything's possible. Well, we're calling it a night. That's right. We're beat. We're tired. Long day. Started at 3 a.m. So move on. Lift on. Be safe. Stay hydrated. That's right. Remember this? 7-Eleven coffee? Yes, indeed. May not get it again, but who knows. And with that, another vlog. Number 29 is done. I'm out of here. Good night. Music. I don't hear any music. Where's the music? Oh, there we go.